Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After facing criticism on ex-bachelorette, Trista Sutter elaborates on what Ryan Sutter said to her during the Golden Bachelor wedding. Following the live broadcast of the wedding on television, some fans rushed to X to voice their opinions that Ryan had said something hurtful during Jerry Turner's vows to Teresa Nist. Now that Trista had been made aware of this by Ben Higgins, she took to social media to set the record straight and disclose exactly what he had said to her. How did he say it? Continue reading to learn more. When Ryan Sutter and his wife Trista got married on The Golden Bachelor, what did they say? After the Golden Bachelor wedding, Trista Sutter took to social media to express her dissatisfaction with those disparaging her husband on X. While Jerry was saying his vows to Teresa Nist, fans started to speculate that Ryan Sutter had said something hurtful to Trista. Trista claimed to know the precise time they were talking to when she discussed the subject on Instagram. People were attempting to read his lips during this time, and some believed he had said something unpleasant in addition to that it wouldn't happen. She also discussed his remarks about X. But Trista said it was not at all what he had said. Ryan's sweet little whisper to Trista demonstrates how much he still cares for his wife. I can explain since I was the one Ryan was speaking to, Trista remarked. The second happiest, he remarked. Please, when there is only love, don't look for drama. Trista Sutter said that she found it unbelievable that people were grabbing at him and making disparaging remarks. She continued by saying that they were thrilled to see Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist get married and that they were there to support them. Therefore, everyone who says or believes otherwise is incorrect. Trista said that rather than trying to put things in Ryan's lips that he didn't say, the haters should find something more constructive to do. She echoed his remarks from Instagram stories, adding that it was a lovely ceremony and moment, and that people ought to quit trying to destroy it. Therefore, Ryan wasn't acting badly toward Teresa and Jerry. Rather, he was expressing his love for Trista. What do you think about people attempting to harm Ryan's reputation on social media when he attempted to show his wife some romance? Bachelor Sarah Heron laments her late son on his birthday. Sarah Heron, a former bachelor, is still in mourning over the death of her beloved son even though his due date has passed. Since she had to say goodbye to her firstborn, she has talked about her experience as a bereaved mother. Now that his due day has arrived, read on to see what she thinks of him. Alumni of Bachelor on her due date, Sarah Heron laments their late son. Sarah Heron paid tribute to her late son Oliver on Instagram with a heartfelt post. At 24 weeks, he was born prematurely, and he died soon after. Sarah has been transparent about her IVF journey and her difficulties with infertility. She was overjoyed to announce that she and her fiancé Dylan Brown were expecting a child in September. When the time came, she once again shared their devastating loss with her admirers, sharing everything with them. Sarah has already reached her due date and is still grieving for Oliver while paying tribute to his memories. She included multiple pictures of her and Dylan cradling Oliver following his birth in her post. The little in stature, he was flawless. Sarah also posted pictures of his ultrasound and his footprint. Sarah wished her sweet angel a happy due date at the start of her heartbreaking post. There's no way I could have prepared for today. But despite the pain and unfathomable loss, my perfect son, you have given me a gift that words cannot express. I really believe that this is how things were meant to be for us, and that our souls had a mission to complete with one another. You needed parents who could hold this brief existence for you in a safe and honorable manner, she went on. You picked me because of my past, not in spite of it. We have lived together before, and this will undoubtedly not be our last. This was your opportunity to spread your insightful spirits message across the globe, Sarah continued by saying that Dylan and she are doing well and that Oliver has given them the strength they never thought they could have. She revealed her belief that all people are souls going through human experiences rather than just bodies. Sarah also disclosed that she has sought guidance from gurus and spiritual healers in an effort to understand her deceased son better. She now claims that everything hits in a unique way. Your great-grandma passed away just a few days ago, and I had the honor of holding a loved one as they bravely left their body for the second time this year, Sarah stated. 
We enter this world fragile and exit it unaltered. To grasp it, I had to see such bravery and vulnerability in others. In response to questions from followers about how she manages to stay so positive, Sarah posted a remark by Michael J. Fox. She continued by saying that she had always been courageous, that she was happy to have battle wounds, and that she had given it her best. We weep and celebrate all that you have given our family, bravery, resiliency, courage, optimism, and hope, Sarah said in closing. We are grateful for spring, which gives us a fresh start after a demanding and protracted season of wintering. Sweet soul, I'll see you again. I'm sending Sarah and Dylan healing energy and good thoughts as they continue to grieve without their beloved son Oliver. Is Ariel Frankel returning for season 9 of Bachelor in Paradise? During The Bachelor, Ariel Frankel won over many admirers. Now, they want to know if they can expect to see her again in season 9 of Bachelor in Paradise. During Zach Shawcross's season, she came in third place and gracefully exited the show. Admirers are enamored with her elegant demeanor and stunning appearance. This summer, will she be the one everyone sees on the beach in Mexico? Continue reading to learn more. Fans adore Ariel Frankel for her sophisticated demeanor. Not only is Ariel the smartest and most attractive woman to have ever appeared on the show, but a fan recently declared that Ariel is the coolest due of her passion for Vanderpump Rules. Many believed that she would be selected as the bachelorette in the end when Zach Shawcross sent her home. That obviously did not occur, and Charity Lawson was designated as the main character. Ariel does, however, have one more chance to look for love. In season 9 of Bachelor in Paradise, she can travel to Mexico in search of beach love. What has Ariel indicated regarding the likelihood that this would come to pass? Ariel had told Nick Vile in the past that she wasn't ruling out the notion but wasn't sure about it either. We'll see, she remarked. I take it that the same applies to overnight stays? I don't make statements and then contradict myself. I'm usually willing to try new things, but I'm not sure how I would feel about going back to something like that. I also feel like the beach would be very different than what I experienced, Ariel concluded. Nick assured Ariel that it would be unique and that she ought to give it a shot. She began by laughingly stating that she detested the heat and wasn't very good in it when asked whether she thought it was for her. She said, I don't know. I think I put too much of myself into the previous circumstance, so I think it would be difficult for me to go through that again. Fans really expect to see Ariel this summer, even if it doesn't appear like she's decided yet if she will visit the beach Ariel said in a recent interview that she wasn't sure whether their families would have matched up after spending time with Zach in the fantasy suite. She began to discover that her perception of the chats Zach had with her family when they went on dates in her hometown was not entirely accurate. Not everything went as she had planned. Thus, even if Ariel doesn't always let her family to dictate how she lives and interacts with others, it's crucial that they all get along and have similar values. Everything seemed to have transpired as it was meant to. In the end, Zach proposed to Katie Bigger, and Ariel sends her best wishes to the couple.